Welcome back. We are under caution for the seventh time here at South Boston Speedway. Sometimes it's difficult to tell exactly what happened to bring out a caution. And then sometimes it's not difficult at all, like what just happened here seconds ago. Watch the five of Dick Trickle. And the 44 of Justin Labonte. Lifted him right off the ground when he tapped him in the rear there. Of course, uh, Justin was two laps down, getting ready to go three laps down. And Trickle got a tremendous bite coming up off the corner, it looked like. And I think he got up on Justin a little quicker than he, than he meant to. Take another view here. Again, Trickle having worked his way into traffic. Now watch the tremendous bite, Dick. It's right, look right there. He really accelerated. He just got going, yeah. Yeah, and, and I think that Justin's car was just a little bit loose, and he got out of the throttle. Dick certainly didn't mean to do that. And Todd Bodine was right there running in second, and this is what he saw. As Dick Trickle hits Justin Labonte, and caution number seven is on the speedway. Mike Hogwood is down on pit road. Yeah, we're in Dick Trickle's pit where he did radio his crew. And today, guys, I got into the 44, got into Labonte. So he's had the crew look at the front end as it's come around here on the back side. There is no damage to the number five and a certain sigh of relief here in the, here in the Dick Trickle pits. Racing again. Lap 142. Trickle with Lyndon Amick and everybody else is on the binder. Stay up. Stay up. Go hard. Wow, what a great job Dick Trickle no did in spinning that car around out. and not getting hit. No he caution. Todd Bodine is the race leader. Takes over at lap 143. Eli, what happened there? There was speedy drive, oil drive down in the bottom groove and Lyndon Amick was right below him. He hit the oil drive. The back end of the car kicked around went right up into Dick Trickle. Take a look again at what happened here. Watch, watch Lyndon Amick lose the back end of the car right here. You see it? You can see the dust right as he hit the oil dry. It took him right up into Trickle. Now watch Trickle spin this thing around and miss this traffic. And look at Phil Morris, wow. that oh one car. Great. What a great job he did not to wipe out half the field. He, he could have made the 710 split there. And now trouble. Oh, we had just talked about Dave Blankenship, and he's in the wall in turn two. Ah, we put the whammy on him. Put the Sports Illustrated jinx on him, didn't we? Put him on the cover, and there he went. Too bad. He had a great run going. He's got the car riding now. He's pulled it down off the racetrack, heading toward pit road. You can see him there. He's got major damage to the back end of the car. Deck lid sticking up, but, uh, oh, wow, you can see it all crunched in over on the right rear. Dave Blankenship, a favorite here. Watch what happens. He is in the middle there, right behind the four of Purvis. He just broke loose getting in the corner, almost like a right rear was down. Again, you see the speedy drive, the dust. He may have been up a little high on the racetrack. We'll have to wait and see when we get a report from the pits. But uh, I believe he may have gotten up into some oil dry again. Caution with a pit stop for the Duralube team. Caution for the eighth time at lap 145. Todd Bodine is the leader. 40 laps away from another competition caution as Todd Bodine tries to hold off Jeff Green and around goes Bodine. Green has the lead. Todd Bodine has yet to see the caution be displayed. He's waiting for clear traffic. He pulls away. Todd does. Jeff Green is the race leader. Dale Earnhardt Jr. stays with him in second. And again, no caution because there was there was no danger of uh, anybody else getting involved in that. But Todd lost a lot of track position. You saw him come by right there, and here comes Jeff Green. Of course, Todd's got a quick race car. What he wants now is a caution flag to try to close him up to the back of the pack. So Jeff Green is the race leader. Again, here's what happened seconds ago. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff tried to get under him, and Todd was coming down to protect, protect the position on the racetrack, and the two cars came together. It, uh, as they say on Saturday night, that's racing. Now watch this again from Larry Pearson, the double zero. Pardon me, Tom, coming through. Boom. Well, Wait. Larry figured there was already damage to the right front. He couldn't yeah, hurt much more. Yeah, right. <laughs> but caution. Caution is on the speedway. Caution is out. Caution is out. Everything's clear. Caution is out. Caution is on the speedway. What a break for Todd Bodine. Just when the leader pulls up onto him, may have a chance to put him a lap down. He gets that caution flag. He gets that break he needed to put him back to the rear of the field. Looking around, there's nothing on the racetrack. No cars that we see. Oh, I can see it right now. The low groove of turn one. There's a big piece of debris. 
that one of the NASCAR officials is going out to get. Just entering turn one on the low side of the racetrack. There's something out there. And uh, the NASCAR official will uh, retrieve, see him right there on the edge of the racetrack, picking up some piece of uh, debris. And we are under caution.